There are times when you're working with canvases and paint and paper and brushes and everything's fine on a, a single plane and then all of a sudden anybody, whether they're able-bodied or not, needs something more than that. And what we've found more recently with our artists, because of the way that they want to, um, uh, to explore their own passions, we've been stretching ourselves and them to reach bigger canvases and all together make more of what they can do. And by having a, an easel, which is so versatile and incredibly useful because it can go in any shape, take any size canvas, can lift up high, fall down low at the drop of a hat, and is so incredibly user-friendly, it's entirely transformed our painting class. Obviously you have a great passion for painting. It's shown in your, your work up there, which is just incredible. You can clearly see that's the Last Supper. So do you have um, sort of certain topics which you find really inspiring? L? A? M? Or D? Landscape? Yeah? B? A? N? Van Gogh, by any chance? Aha! Brilliant. I think everybody's become very excited about what they're doing because it's, it's so much easier. And I remember it was one pivotal moment when we were painting um, Elaine's rainbow painting, which is just up on the wall there, which was actually uh, where Elaine was saying, are oh, your arms getting tired and do you want to stop now? Because I've been holding her canvas for about 20 minutes in various different places. And, you know, she was becoming uh, discouraged because she was worrying about me. And by having a canvas which is being supported so beautifully by this wonderful easel, she's entirely free to, to paint for as long as she wants and in whatever way works for her. And so immediately then, the relationship we have in, within the class isn't so much supporter and supported, it's actually entirely about being independent and, and actually completely in your own zone, which is really something you would always want for anybody really. Hi, the two are clapping. What do you do in the art classes? Art. <laughs> You've just seen Tina uh, using the first easel, and this is an example of the second easel which we're making for Mark. Um, we've learned a lot from the first one, and we are constantly seeking to improve all our designs, and uh, th this is a good example of it. Um, there are certain features on it that don't feature on the original, uh, and they are improvements, of course. And um, our apprentice, George, is busy making these parts. I think when we started, we didn't think that we'd ever get anything quite so good. And I don't mean to be rude, but actually, it's hard when you make a great demand, excuse the expression, uh, on somebody to come up with something so clever. And Paul and, and Lynette and Demand have managed to do just that, just to break it and bring it back to being very grounded. It's not going anywhere fast but it's extremely easy to get close to the chairs and, and it works really well in lots of different guises. So we've, we've had all our ambitions realised, which is, which is fantastic. Makes a huge difference. I just enjoy painting. If you would like to give to Demand, you can donate online by visiting their website, www.demand.org.uk or scan the QR code 